Good morning, Facebook. Muriel follow Sunday morning as usual, a little bit later than usual, and I'm gonna explain why in a minute. Today I have a tea because I didn't feel like green juice. It's cold, and I didn't feel like drinking something cold. So while I'm waiting for people to join, I'm gonna have a sip. I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. We did a bohemian Thanksgiving at my house, which means we didn't feel like being on the regular dining table, which is actually where I am sitting now. We preferred, um, uh, we preferred to be on the living room table next to the fire and we did everything um, lower than usual so we sat on the couch we had candles it was really really nice and just we did what we were in the mood hi alisa hi good weekend i hope you had a nice thanksgiving i was just explaining that we had a bohemian thanksgiving at my house which means we didn't sit at the dining table but we sat in front of the fire on the living room table with candles and a beautiful setting and it was really fun. And since I don't like turkey, we did, uh, we made chicken. So that was a little bit unusual, like an un unconventional Thanksgiving, but wonderful anyway. You did great. Bonjour, bonjour. So today I'm coming later than usual because I was struggling with what am I going to say? I was not inspired. I usually am bombarded with ideas. And today I was like, my gosh, I have nothing to say. And maybe it's because I was a little bit tired from the holiday. I don't know. But so I reflected on what happened this week. This week I had to coach someone who was in an anxiety um, mode. So... I remembered that earlier and I was like, okay, I'm going to apply what I uh, told that person when I coached her. So what I told her was like, when you are afraid, hi Ray, when you are afraid, when you feel anxiety in your body, the emotion in your body always starts with a thought. And guys, if you're wondering why I look like this, I'm going hiking later. So I look different today. So the anxiety or any emotion that you feel in your body, it comes from a thought. And that person that called me uh, was one was really worried about a situation. And she was keeping on going more dramatic, more and more and more and more dramatic, and putting herself in even more anxiety. And what I told her, I told her, let go of the thought. That's it's that easy. We just don't know it. And pick another one. And that's what we did together on the phone. And then she was able to gradually go from anxiety to a peaceful state and then to a resourceful state. It's, you can never really go from a very negative emotion to a very positive emotion. You have to go gradually. And sometimes it takes more than the 20 minutes I talked with her on the phone. But always try to progress to the next better feeling emotion. And that, start, that starts with a thought. So this morning when I woke up and I was like, I have nothing to say today. What am I going to say? I have nothing. Maybe I should skip it. It's Thanksgiving weekend. And then I had those thoughts in my head. But you're committed to your business. And you said you would do it every week. So you have to blah, 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 blah. And then I caught myself and I said, okay, Muriel, let go of the thought that you have nothing to say and it will come. And so I sat down and what I want to convey today is the fact that, thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm keeping, I'm going. Um, the fact that when you keep thinking that same negative, negative thought over and over, you will never get out of that emotional state. And because you are in a negative emotional state, you will never have access to higher level thoughts. So the key is to remember in the moment to let go. And I always tell my, my uh, clients, do like this. 
it really sends, it's an anchor. Uh, you're anchoring the, uh, what's going on in your brain with the gesture. And it reminds you, let go of that thought. And that's what I did. And I said, thought, uh, ideas will come to me. So that's what I wanted to um, connect today with dating and feeling lonely during the holidays because the holidays are coming, they already started, we had Thanksgiving and now we're going into the frenzy of the year end with people are usually going crazy, buying gifts and all that. So while you're in the movement of doing things, you're not very lonely, but then when you sit at home and if you really, really want to be with someone and you're alone, you may have thoughts in your head that make you feel even more lonely. And in fact, we are never really completely alone. So it's upon you to remember what is in your highest good and to remember to drop the thought and pick another one. And maybe it will be something more neutral or maybe you're going to drop the thought and have an idea to go for a walk. Do, I would even recommend to you that to be prepared for the holidays and the, maybe the lonely feelings out there for the people who are alone, have a list of the stuff you adore, of the songs that are your favorite. Have a list ready because when you're in that state, maybe you won't have access to your higher thoughts right away and you won't know what to do to change your mood. And your mood and your emotional high end, your emotional state can be changed like this. Put a song and sing or dance. Uh, go for a walk, call a friend, watch a comedy. Uh, I love gardening, garden. The key is to have access to something that is going to bring you into higher, a higher level of thoughts and emotions in your body and let go of that thought that you're alone and that you've been looking for, I don't know how many months or years you've been looking for someone or maybe you stopped looking because you lost hope. Drop that thought, it's just a thought and it creates this emotional state in your body which is going to maintain you in that situation. So it's not in your highest interest to keep thinking like this. So remember that, drop the thought, Go to your notebook that you will start preparing now with all the activities, the people you love, the one you know that if you want to have a good laugh, you can give a call to, or if you want to receive a dose of love, you can give a call to. And if you don't have anyone like this, meditate. He or she or it, whatever you call it, is always available for us. We are loved no matter what we say. If it's not by other people on earth, we are loved. We are, in fact, we are made of the energy of love. So we, and we have access to that anytime, anywhere, when we want. And have your list, have your list of activities that fill you with pleasure and, and joy and drop the thoughts that don't serve you. So be ready for the holidays, it starts it has started actually. I consider when Thanksgiving is done, it, it's here. It's already the holiday season. So focus on the highest good for yourself. Go into the world with joy and full instead of desperate because it can never attract good things. And be ready for the beautiful holidays of lights. No matter what you practice, there are a lot of holidays of lights here. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm going to go hiking and it's the perfect weather here now in, in Las Vegas. And if you have questions, comments, if there is a topic you want me to talk about, don't hesitate and post it or send me a private message if you want to be more private. If you know friends who are dating and who are confused or struggling, send them here or send them to my website. I have great news for the new year. I'm going to have a podcast coming up, interviews. I already have one scheduled and I will have classes, uh, free ones and courses for people to take. A lot, a lot of good stuff. So 
go enjoy your life, drop the thoughts that don't serve you, and let's see each other next Sunday, Sunday, sorry, uh, between 9.30 and 10. And I send you much love. I'm going to go on my hack now.